Welcome back to the UGF Pandas. Oh, well, let me find a panda out here somewhere. I can't do the intro without a panda. Oh, there we go. Welcome back to the UGF Pandas. That's better. Oh god, Will Horton's trying to summon Satan with his career passing yards right here. Left off last episode setting up the schedule and everything, but now it's time to jump into recruiting and play the first game of the season. What are, what's our team needs looking like this season? Need a tight end? About time, I need to recruit one of those. We need two middle linebackers. Seems simple enough, two positions I want to recruit anyway. Much simpler than last season where we needed like four defensive tackles. Sam Thomas, white wide receiver, is the number one guy on the board. We got a four-star guard interested in the pandas we're in battles with georgia and florida we're adding this guy to the board right away we've been improving greatly these past few seasons our record's been tremendous especially in the sun belt and that's what gives us the a plus coaching prestige but i probably shouldn't get too high and mighty we're probably going to lose a lot of games this season at least in comparison to the past few conference prestige skyrocketed this season moving into the acc so instead of having like a c plus we now have a b plus that goes quite a long way in recruiting championship contender is now a b plus heck next year we're projected to be 27th in the nation stadium atmosphere is up to a b as well we have one of the longest win streaks in the nation that's what's helping that keep up i can't wait until the Dome is an a plus I and mean, we have seven wins in a row let's try to keep that going probably gonna lose games this season but let's try to not lose them at home but then again i, I, I just remembered we play like like Georgia and teams like that at home. Coach stability, that takes a long time to improve. I would have to do this dynasty for like 10 years for it to get to an A plus, I think. To increase academic prestige, you have to target prospects that do not have to wait long to be a starter on your team. We can probably get that done. I want to say the athletic facilities are improving slowly but surely. We're definitely not on Michigan or Ohio State's level, but slowly crawling our way up there. We've been playing in the Sun Belt, so we haven't had too many televised games. In the ACC this year, it should probably change a lot. Pro potential is still a D-. We have yet to have a UGF Panda drafted to the NFL. Another amazing thing about Dan Holycross, he's the first guy ever on the Spark 100 that was interested in us in week one. Oh, look at all these four stars. This guy's name is Lamar Scrotum. Dan Holycross, he is good. Coach Prestige is the highest thing on his board, so we're going to get a massive amount of boost for him every week. Good tackler, that's what I need. 90 acceleration, James Adams. Ooh, we have found ourselves a gym in this athlete. Now I gotta figure out what position he is. Yeah, that guy's a tight end. Nice. I'm curious about the Heisman race. Because we've never had a... Pe <gasps> Will Horton is in the Heisman race? I was about to say, we've never had a panda in the Heisman race before, but now it is. Horton, here's a Heisman. Oh my goodness. Don't know how long he's going to stay up there, but that is awesome that he made it in there. The preseason polls, Michigan at number one. Georgia at number two. Oh my goodness, Georgia looks ridiculously good. They have a ridiculously difficult schedule near the second half. Florida, Auburn, Bama, and then UGF. We're slotted at 47. Our offense is a 90 overall. Special teams is a D. Looks like we're going to be going for a lot of two-point conversions. Still a three-star school as well. Maybe if we won the BCS Bowl game, we'd be a four-star by now. Reggie Manning, Brandon Montgomery, and Eric Tyson. Definitely elite players who are going to make a ton of plays this season. What about the second team? Anybody on offense? Absolutely not. Probably somebody on defense, though. No? Never mind. All ACC, though. Josh Jackson for quarterback. Jeff Warren for running back. Sweet. Daniel Sanders for wide receiver. Defense, Eric Tyson, of course. Sam Ramirez. Basically, our entire secondary is on this list. Will Horton, projected to be second team all ACC. Noah Curtis, second team all ACC as well for the defense. Anybody else? Mike made it and Will Smith. This guy's a lockdown corner. Look at that coverage. Team we're playing this week is FCS East. Looking to blow him out by a ton. We're going to get Horton to Heisman. We got to put up numbers this season. Whoa, this is the first time I've ever seen it with the bars in our favor. It's kind of funny to me that they have Rayshon Tanner in our top players when he's redshirted this season. They've heard of our high-powered offense, 90 overall. Year four, the final season for a lot of the original guys. After this, it'll basically just be Rayshon Tanner. Our kicker looks like an absolute dweeb. You need to hit the squat rack there, son. Eric Tyson, of course. Bring him down to the backfield. That is the transfer. Connor Hoffman, the con man. Montgomery, one-on-one. -on -one. Will he scramble? Montgomery's hustling. Lay him out, and he miss. <laughs> Safety's going to have to do a lot of tackling in that scenario. Up the gut. We forgot about the quarterback. Get him, Montgomery. Dang it, they're starting to move the ball. They got to be one of these triple option teams, aren't they? Screen pass. Tackle him again for loss. Will he throw it deep on us? That one's going out of bounds. 
Throwing it across the middle. Mitchell cannot make the interception, but it brings up a fourth down. Good enough for me. Boots this one probably out of bounds. Try and keep it in. On the very edge. Dang it. I wanted to take that one the distance. First possession of the season. We got a three tight end set for Jeff Warren here on the left side. Got James Jones coming in to block, and that collapsed pretty quickly. Only one yard for Jeff Warren. So cool to see the ACC logo on there instead of the Sunbelt one. I'm glad they changed those things around. Jeff Warren, he's going to take this one. First one was a dud. This one might go all the way. Shakes off the safety. Could not take it for the touchdown, but that's a 62-yard gain for Jeff Warren. Right, we're going to throw this one to Jeff Warren. The Jukes, not enough for the first. Time to bring out the fullbacks. Coming out of the wishbone for this one to hand it off to Dylan Brown. Rumbling his way for the first. Wide receiver screen. Daniel Sanders shoves off one guy, but not enough space to get to the end zone. Going to keep it simple with some slants. Going to scramble with Horton. Oh, that sidestep for the touchdown. Plays like that, Will Horton. You're going to be here in the Heisman. So subtle, but it's so beautiful. The con man's coming for you. Eric Tyson, first tackle of the season for him. Tries to throw over Ramirez. That's two dropped interceptions for us. Get it together, boys. This one, Mitchell over his head, but he, but he recovers to strip it out. This one's for Daniel Sanders, the comeback route. A little miscommunication there. We're blitzing off that side. Daniel Sanders caught it through the contact. Just enough for the first down. Oh, we'll just run this up the gut. They got three guys in the box. And we didn't block him. Are you kidding me? That is disappointing, guys. Well, there's no way we're going to make a field goal. We don't have Andy Francis anymore, and there's no way I'm going to punt this close to their end zone. Time to go for the, the option play. That's a forward pass, and it's a turnover on downs. Pretty good effort, though. Oh, popped him. Dare you to pitch that. He barely got that one off. Get him, Kendrick. Drags him down from behind. Scrambling. No. Oh, I wish you would have fumbled that. Give me that one. Oh, didn't get there in time. Trying to bait their quarterback. Up the middle. He's going nowhere. Quarterback keeper. Eric Tyson shed the block like it was nothing. Wide open. Oh, the play action. Play action got us. And now it's a tie ball game with FCS. The fans are fed up. Whoa, Daniel Sanders, nobody's covering him. Come on, guys, this is elementary. Daniel the Colonel Sanders, best wide receiver in the nation. 77 yards to the end zone. Will he try to throw that one? Will Smith's coming for him. Got him. User tackle across the field. This one's all Montgomery. Oh, my goodness. I was holding down the catch button. He did nothing. They love to go the option play. Ramirez. Good. Who are you throwing to? Come on, Montgomery. Throw it deep, please. Fumble it. Three guys hit stick him. This guy is a tank if he can take that. Across the middle. Eric Tyson saved the first down. We got him. Yes. He tried to pitch it in just that tiny little crevice. Nothing worked for him. Does he have the leg to make it from this distance? Yeah, and he had a lot to spare too. 14 to 10. 36 seconds left in the half. Screen pass. Oh, we've got it for days. We got this for days. Keep going. Oh, the spin move. He said Rayshon Tanner's redshirted. Someone's got to take over the spin move king. Across the middle, touchdown before the half. Sam McDonald, first touchdown in ages for him. Two plays, 72 yards, 29 seconds. That's all we needed. 21 to 10 at half. We're going to try to triple our score in the second half. I want to take one of these all the way. Okay, that's what I'm talking about, Jeff Warren. I don't understand how he stayed on his feet through all of that. Pitch that one. Jeff Warren, take this one all the way. 
Okay, broke that one. He's had a ton of monster gains, but he hasn't got the touchdowns. We got Damon Harris, the freshman. Thought he was going to get into the end zone. Five-star wide receiver that we randomly got in the offseason. This kid is good. No complaints here. This is our two fullback sets. We got Nichols in the block for Dylan Brown. Up the middle, and he's stuffed. That's pretty out of character for the Pandas. Let's go right back at it. Yeah, you can't stop Dylan Brown twice. Kid's got a nose for the end zone. Con man's in coverage, but he's going to the corner. Oh my goodness, Montgomery. That kid has a family. Wildcat for Jeff Warren. Okay, Holly kind of messed me up. I could have gone all the way. Forgot him in the end zone. Overthrew Daniel Sanders. Here we go. Here we go. Options opening up. Right here across the middle. The post route, Bo Henderson. That's why he was a red shirt this freshman season because he has no hands. Going to the fullback. I keep hitting my offensive lineman and it's screwing up my team. What the heck was that? Oh yeah, we can outrun this guy. I know it. If you're going to get the Heisman, you got to make badass plays like this, Horton. That's what I'm talking about. Let's finally get Jeff Warren a dang touchdown in this game. Oh, the O-line. I love it. Mowing down the defense. This is all Mike. How many dropped interceptions do we have this game? Ramirez. Oh, I messed it up, but it's fourth down anyway. Whoa, that could have been dangerous. Oh, no, I didn't see this guy. We broke off that one. Let's keep running. It's going to be a huge scramble. That's got to be a block in the back. Massive run, and that's probably going to end the quarter. 35 to 10 going into the fourth. I think we got this game in hand. Now it's just time to have some fun. What the heck was that? Better believe we're throwing this football. I see the freshman. Grab it. Another big gain off the of fourth down. We're going to run this one in with Horton. Second rushing touchdown of the game. UGF always gets me emotional seeing the crowd. Best fans in the nation. Go and get him. Reggie Manning, did you see him zipping around over there to get him? Oh, come on. Don't even try something like that. Easy pick for Eric Tyson. Trying to get another touchdown through the air. Bo Henderson, back-to-back -back drops. At this point, do we even play this kid? Like, these are embarrassing. Over the middle, McDonald. Somebody who can actually catch a football. Good. One on one. Harris, not a touchdown. This kid keeps catching him on the one yard line. That was still beautiful though. Purely to keep padding his stats for the Heisman race. We're gonna give it to Horton here on the goal line. Touchdown, third one of the game on the ground. He's got two through the air. The con man's coming for you. Got lucky he didn't get the boomstick there. Tried to get the pass off. Another sack for the Pandas. This one. Sanders is out of bounds. Poop. I'm especially rude for going for this. On my own like 23 yard line. Whatever. I'm a scumbag. Got it off. Harris. Could he go? He's got the first down. That's all we asked of him. I see him, Damon Harris back-to-back -back plays, he got it. That's a touchdown, first one for the freshman. No way, that's for Mitchell and he has a second dropped interception of the game. Oh boy, oh did you see Horton there? This man is Superman. Oh my goodness, Will Horton, he deserves the Heisman after stuff like that. Jeff Ward in the O-line finish this drive off. We put up 60 on FCS. Oh, this is new. Making our man do push-ups after every point we score. Oh, Eric Tyson. 
That should finish up the game after that sack. No surprise, UGF beats FCS. Will Horton, 518 yards and six touchdowns with no turnovers. The growth of this man has been unbelievable. Will Horton had a near perfect day at the office, 17 to 28, 405 yards and three touchdowns. On the ground, he had 113 yards and three touchdowns on top of that. Jeff Warren only had seven carries, 92 yards and two touchdowns. Our fullback Dylan Brown also got a touchdown in the mix. We had three receivers over 100 yards. Daniel Sanders had 118 for one touchdown. The freshman, five-star freshman Damon Harris, 152 yards and one touchdown. Jeff Warren had 112 receiving yards but could not manage to get into the end zone. Sam McDonald had 23 yards and one touchdown. Leading tackler once again, Eric Tyson, back with him. Two of those for loss, one sack, one pick on the day, trying to prove to the team and the nation that he will be dominant this season. We had four dropped interceptions today, two of them from Todd Mitchell, one from Mike, and one from Sam Ramirez. 617 yards of total offense. Absolutely slapped them around. Yes, we get to upgrade Tony Romo and our offensive coordinator. And their offensive coordinator is already a beast. Marcus Pittman already committed to Auburn. Oh well, we got other options. NCAA Player of the Week. Will Horton making a name for himself early. Definitely going to stick with recruiting for Tony Romo. We're going to put it into the locksmith in case we have to unlock somebody in this season. Offensive coordinator upgrade. Well, the only thing we can put it into is the run blocking. So, yes, I will accept. Somebody explain this to me. Will Horton gets NCAA Player of the Week. Then we go take a look at the Heisman race, right? He was number five in the preseason. And then we come back. After being player of the week, he gets knocked out. Do we need like higher quality of wins or something? That one really rubs my buttons off. AJ Dillon didn't even play in a game. Neither did Harold Joyner. Something ain't right here. The Pandas ranked yet? Probably not. We're not even receiving votes for the top 25 either. The disrespect this season has been off the charts. You can already see people hopping on UGF's bandwagon. Great win, coach. New team in the ACC. There's a whole new fan base swooping in. Next week should be a good one. We play our rivals, Georgia State. We're destroying them in every single category, but that's no surprise. We're number one in a lot of things in the nation because we played FCS. Anyways, that's pretty much all I have for this video. I want to say thank you guys so much for watching. You're all legends in my book. And as for me, I am Drew Morris, big old Drewski, not the expert. And I'll see all you guys in my next video. Peace. CMD, Mr. Dinfin. He's got it, and we caught it. We're gonna do this. First and goal, 28 seconds to go. I'm pretty sure my voice is...